What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here on this Friday end of the work week, May 20th, 2022 date, about 11.48 a.m. Uh, so just before noon here along the west coast, the latest quake shows a 3.8 earthquake into the area of the globe here just coming in around the Greenland area. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the map. Nothing showing up there on the USGS model as uh, far as that activity up there in the north uh, towards the Iceland area, I should say. We'll go ahead and see if the EMSC models are reporting it uh, way up here into the area. Looks like a little activity kicking up here in the upper three range around the Greenland area, Iceland area. Uh, probably around the, uh, looks like maybe possibly some volcanic activity kicking back up around that region of Iceland, the 3.8 at about eight kilometers below the surface. I know I've seen another one in there. Um, looks like a 3.1, maybe mixed in underneath that 3.8. The latest activity there on the map. Uh, as far as the USGS map goes, looks like a 2.5 coming in here onto the uh, Garlock Fault structure, uh, just south of the Ridgecrest region bring up the all magnitudes and take a look see what we got going on here Ridgecrest somewhat quiet here in the area a low activity here to the north around the Owens Valley 2.0 uh, that earthquake uh, not a big one none of these are big but a little uptick it looks like here within the last hour and one as I mentioned right there on the Garlock fault zone it's gonna be this uh, a well-defined fault system there on the map Southern California low activity throughout the San Jacinto fault zone no major swarming to report down there today. Eastern part of the Sierra Nevada showing a little bit of spotty activity throughout the Long Valley area and up towards the Lake Tahoe region. We did see a little activity up here south of Eureka with a little bit of movement, a couple of twos and even a 3.3 uh, earlier this morning, it looks like, uh, striking around the uh, Ferndale area just south of Fortuna. These earthquakes here into the subduction zone of the Cascadia. The depth of these earthquakes roughly about 18 kilometers here. So you got to remember the subduction zone here of the Cascadia mega thrust area. Into Oregon, not a whole lot going on. Looks like a query blast outside of Roseburg or an explosion. Um, looks like on that interstate, so I'm not for sure what happened there. Uh, possibly an accident or who knows what. I haven't heard anything about it, but it uh, looks like it registered a, a 1.2 on the magnitude scale there outside of Roseburg. Uh, into Washington, things kind of lighten up here on the map once again outside of Mount Rainier. Nothing being reported at Mount St. Helens. Let's go ahead and check out the seismic activity at Mount Rainier first. This here is the epicenter activity along the uh, trimmer map here of the Cascadia yesterday. 93 epicenters of trimmer yesterday. Uh, volcanic activity or earthquake activity at the Mount Rainier region. Let's go ahead and check that out. Of course, the train's coming, right? It's coming. I can hear it in the background. You guys are here soon, too. Uh, let's see what we got here for activity <clears throat> at the Mount Rainier region. Uh, let's see. I know they're showing low activity here on the USGS map. It looks like a couple uh, small earthquakes southwest of the summit area. And I wonder if those are one of them. Let me check the timestamps here. It looks like uh, last one was 1340 uh, UTC time. 1340 was... Uh, Well, 1340 would be somewhere within here, it looks like. Not for sure if that's it or not. This kind of looks like an earthquake, but a little odd one. So I'm uh, not for sure if it's just not really picking it up here. Um, let's go ahead and check out this other seismograph station here. Gateway entrance station. See if uh, see if it's picking it up. Whoa, 1340. So I don't even see that here on the map. Some of this activity, I'm not 100% certain what it is, but it's kind of odd. You guys see how uh, they are equally spaced out? 
Got a spike here and a little period of noise and then spike. Not for sure what that is. I don't believe that's earthquake related. Looks a little odd to be uh, completely spaced out like that. And they got these odd signatures. So this seismograph, a lot of outside interference. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the Mount St. Helens region. Uh, these guys not shown any reports since about the 13th of May. Looking at uh, seven days now, no activity, but uh, you know, we've been checking these every update, uh, every day. And it looks like, obviously, uh, make sure we got today's date, right? 520. That's uh, definitely an earthquake there. Looks like earlier this morning. And then, uh, of course, yesterday we had a couple more mixed in there prior to the uh, large 6.9 earthquake that struck uh, out there uh, south of New Zealand yesterday. So uh, definitely some earthquake activity, not for sure the uh, reasoning behind the lack of reporting, but it is what it is. See nothing showing up here on the map for Mount St. Helens either. Uh, and if you look at, uh, again, the last seven days, uh, let's go ahead and check here. Last seven days of uh, all magnitudes, still nothing being reported. I thought sometimes they do show or, or uh, pop in the older activity, you know, a couple days late. But here, just not even showing it completely. Uh, reporting, completely stopped reporting the activity there at Mount St. Helens. All right, let's see what else we got uh, into the region of Idaho. Not a whole lot going on through the Idaho region today. Look at uh, Yellowstone. Got a little activity up here into the area of Yellowstone National Park. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, seismograph stations here. See what we got uh, being reported. Well, there's not a whole lot showing up here on the map. Looks like, uh, well, it looks like a little bit of activity here. This is yesterday, though, 519. Let's see what we got going on here. 520. Looks like the um, data has been cut off here because the UTC time right now is current, currently uh, 5.20 at uh, 1855. This only goes, oh yeah, there we go. UTC time right here, 1830. Some reason I keep looking over here. This is the localized time. Got to remember to look over here for UTC time, mountain time here. Uh, so they're up to date. Just not seeing a whole lot of activity though. Maybe one around Mary Lake there, but uh, other than that, not a whole lot going on there in Yellowstone, folks. Go ahead and bounce out of that region of quietness. Uh, Oklahoma and Texas still seeing a little scattered activity over the last 24. And uh, New Madrid zone, pretty quiet. Looks like a little activity overnight in the Virginia region. Looks like a 1.8 at uh, about 4.7 kilometers below the surface not for sure what we have out there in the uh, dense vegetation not for sure not a whole lot just one little lonesome earthquake out there uh, let's see Puerto Rico definitely lighten up here it looks like today with uh, some earthquakes although still not a significant number about 10 earthquakes um latest one shows a 1.9 not a big deal recently in that area we have seen a little uptick here along the middle america trench and the south america region we did see an almost six pointer there along the uh, peru chile trench 5.8 in the chile region and a little activity uh, prior to that uh, up north along the peru chile trench once again off the coast of peru 4.7 uh, there's the Middle America Trench area here off the coast of El Salvador, Costa Rica region as well. A couple fours, magic number up and down the board there. I'm still a little bit sick, folks. I'm not for sure what's going on. It uh, kind of comes and goes. Uh, let's see, what do we got here along the Kermadec Trench? We did see a 5.0. Still looking for something bigger here, folks. It kinda, it's kind of teasing here. I keep saying this is X marks the spot now due to the uh, subsequent activity we've seen yesterday. 
um, here. The, uh, of course, the 6.9 uh, Quarry Island area. And then we've seen that uh, low activity up here to the north. Still expecting, though, like I mentioned in this area, some possible movement. It's kind of in that zone of uh, uncertainty. Um, Fiji pretty quiet today. Philippines got uh, an earthquake or so on each side. 4.6 and a 4.4. And up here along the Mariana Trench, things kind of tapering off. Kurokam Chaka Trench got a uh, 4.8 overnight. Aside from that, uh, kind of a little bit larger quake over here around the uh, Morocco region. That one's striking just offshore into the sea. 5.5 at, uh, looks like about 10 kilometers or so into the region. This was, uh, looks like it was felt into the pager yellow category. Let's see if we can pull up a little information on it. It is historically active out there in this area of the region just offshore of Morocco like I mentioned looks like they can get uh, uh, some fives and sixes out there in the region of that area possibly even between 6.0 and 7.0 here to the south so not unusual just uh, haven't seen a whole lot of activity here uh, in this region Let's see what else we got here not a whole lot going on here folks uh, let's check out earthquakes Canada map for a Friday it's a little quiet then again, maybe I shouldn't say that word because things could be popping off here anytime. Not a whole lot going on through Canada either. Uh, solar weather activity could be the uh, culprit of some excitement here soon. We do have a pretty large sunspot facing us. I'm not for sure what's going on with the data here on the solar ham site, but it is showing up here on the Space Weather Prediction Center. Uh, looks like we had... Uh, Oh, an M flare kick up earlier, late last night, I should say. Uh, looks like uh, not a big one, but things are starting to crackle a little bit uh, with these sunspots that are now facing the uh, Earth side, 3014. Uh, pretty big one. Got some further development here around the bend, but uh, I think right now this massive sunspot, 3017, 3014, are the ones to kind of watch here. Um, today and as they are facing earth currently uh, these guys did drop the flare threat here to a five percent chance uh, I'm guessing due to the uh, lack of inter um, intermixing here of the fields I still think there's possibility though of uh, of seeing a pretty good size M flare uh, from those sunspots M flare 40 percent chance 99 percent chance for a C flare um, Looks like there's a little bit of activity kicking up here on the uh, D layer map. That is probably from this uh, latest little C flare coming in. Kind of see it right there kicking up. Nothing significant though. All right, guys, we're gonna bounce out of here. Hope everyone enjoys their uh, their Friday. We'll be back a little bit later tonight. I think we may do a question and answer show. Uh, a little bit uh, later tonight around 7 p.m. Uh, depending on the schedule here. If not, we'll do it tomorrow night uh, with Missy Mimi's and uh, myself. Till then, folks, enjoy the, uh, enjoy the afternoon and the evening. And we'll see you guys a little bit later tonight for the uh, Friday night update. And uh, looks like the uh, seismograph stations there are back online. They are intermittently... Uh, fading in and out, uh, but they're working So I will keep an eye on those and uh, it may be may have to reset it here and see if I can't get it working uh, Properly, but for now at least they're working. So all right guys I'm gonna bounce out of here see if I can get some cold medicine and we'll chat you a little bit later. Peace out